What's up, Internet? Reviewing today the Alls Eye M120D Plus. Anong brand tong Alls Eye? Hindi ko din alam. To be honest, that was part of the appeal of doing a review when they contacted us na interested ba kayo na i-review tong cooler na to. Yes, I was interested in the cooler. Why? We'll get to that in a little bit. Pero curious din ako sa brand. First time ko marinig tong Alls Eye, okay ba sila? We're always on the lookout for brands na hindi pa ganun kasikat kasi paminsan kahit hindi sikat yung brand sobrang okay naman yung performance plus makamura ka since hindi pa sila ganun kasikat so we're always kind of curious about these kind of um, relatively unknown players so that was the appeal of reviewing the all Sai cooler and the second reason was the cooler itself ito yung first air cooler na napansin ko na may monitoring display on the cooler itself to show you the temperature of the CPU sanay na sanay na tayo na yung mga AIO natin may LCD display sa CPU block but air coolers have been a bit behind on that trend and yun, this is the first cooler I've ever seen na may monitoring display talaga. It's a one tower, two fan CPU cooler from an unknown manufacturer, relatively unknown, sorry all say. So for all of that novelty, ang daming bago dito sa cooler na to, that's why we became curious to try it out. So as usual, the brand sent us this item for review but they had no say in what we had to say about it. At least for me, unknown brand si all say. And that's why wala pa siyang goodwill with me. You know what I mean? Yung mga brands na paborito mo na. If you see Deepcool, alam mo, sobrang okay performance nun. Noctua, excellent performance. ROG, mahal, pero excellent performance. Si Olsai, wala pang history like that with me. So I really wanted to see what this cooler can do. So we tested it with an R9 5950X, which is a pretty hot CPU. To be clear, you probably won't be cooling an R9 5950X with this cooler, but we wanted to see just how good its cooling performance was. Kung kaya niya yung Ryzen 9 5950X, it can basically competently cool most if not all other CPUs on the market. And for our usual testing methodology, we ran the computer at 100% load for 30 minutes and then recorded the max temperature reached as well as the average temperature. Before the results, let's talk about the cooler itself which has a solid build design. It feels hefty. The plastic parts aren't the cheap, brittle type that have a lackluster color to them. Insulation was straightforward. It does have its own custom backplate which is a little uncommon for AMD coolers. Most other coolers will just use the stock backplate of the AMD Mobo. For me though that's a good thing because those backplates are always getting lost and we do regularly have customers asking what they can do if they no longer have the backplate of their Mobo. The ARGB of the cooler is compatible with all the usual suspects as Rock Polychrome, MSI Mystic Lite, Dragon Center, Gigabyte Fusion, and Asus Aura Sync. So how did it cool? Hinodo talaga namin yung testing dito. Una, Ryzen 9 5950X, top of the line ni AMD yung gamit namin. That CPU can produce a lot of heat. Tapos yung tinapat natin sa M120D Plus is Deepcool's excellent AS500 Plus. We've reviewed the AS500 Plus before and I've used it in a lot of builds. So we really know that it's a great cooler. Mahirap talaga siyang talunin. First, for the benchmark results, the AS500 Plus hit a max temp of 62 degrees with an average temp of 57 degrees. That's after 30 minutes of 100% load on the CPU. Now, the M120D Plus did have a higher temp reached at 74 degrees, but its average temp was only 58 degrees. Just one degree hotter than the AS500 Plus. That's very impressive performance from a relatively unknown brand. The M120D Plus is, I am happy and surprised to report, an excellent cooler. To be honest, I didn't think it could handle the R9 5950X, but it did. Tapos, tinapat pa niya yung AS500 Plus, which we know has awesome cooling performance. For me, the high max temp reach doesn't detract from the overall very good impression I got from this cooler. 74 degrees at 100% load is by itself a decent average performance and some coolers do take a little while to expel the heat leading to max temps reached which are a little high but once the cooling reaches its sweet spot then temps stabilize at a colder temperature so the m120d plus is a very good cooler but we also need to take a look at its other main characteristic 
the temperature display. It's a cool feature and really handy to see your temperatures at a glance. Unfortunately, it's just not that accurate. In our testing, the M120D Plus consistently reported lower temperatures compared to what our monitoring software was actually telling us. Here you can see the cooler is telling us that the temp is around 25 degrees, but both the display on the Cooler Master half 700 EVO case and the monitoring software is telling us that the actual temperature is 34 degrees. So that's a pretty big variance, almost 10 degrees. Parang nag wishful thinking lang yung cooler na I wish the CPU was at 25 degrees, pero actually it was closer to 35. So I don't know what to think now. On one hand, you have a great cooler. Talagang malamig yung CPU mo kung gamitin mo yung M120D+. On the other hand, part of the appeal of this cooler is the temperature display which is not accurate. Like, a lot not accurate. But fine. I'm still going to give this guy 4 out of 5 candies. One, it's an excellent cooler. Yung basic na function niya, nagagawa niya, at mahusay siya dun. Pangalawa, the price is very competitive. It costs about roughly equal to a Deepcool AS500 Plus. So this is significantly less than marquee brands like Noctua or Be Quiet. Pero sobrang ganda pa rin ng performance niya. Third, I appreciate what Allsa is trying to do. At least hindi sila cookie cutter na pare-pareho lang yung mga items nila. Looking at this cooler and their other items, you can really see they're trying to innovate. Sometimes baka kulang pa, but at least they're trying. And promising naman yung design direction nila. In conclusion, price to performance, this cooler is excellent. You get excellent cooling for your money. Medyo malabo yung temperature display. Isipin mo na lang nakasama yun sa aesthetics. More nice to look at instead of being super accurate. Paglingon mo sa display, isipin mo ballpark figure lang talaga yan. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up to date yung inventory dun. Kung in stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.